the irons. Today we're gonna be talking about the grip with the machine that have the threading. So this grip is fully compatible with those with little adapter that we make. Also, um, we're gonna be showing you how to prep the tube. You know, a lot of people like to wrap them, other people just use them bare and then how to clave them. So I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques that I use and uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, maintaining your ratchet, how to replace the ratchet, uh, the dry bar. Then we're gonna talk about a little bit about uh, uh, grip covers. A lot of people like these grips because they can actually slide uh, on them, those foam covers. We're gonna be talking about that. We're gonna show you how to disassemble the grip. We're gonna show you how to properly reassemble the grip. And uh, although it comes with instructions, what else? And a couple of tips, you know, so you don't mess up. And uh, we're gonna talk about the available colors and that's it. And then I'm gonna be talking about these guys that I have right here. These are the new Click Ergo Disposable. So basically the same benefits of this grip that we designed, the one in aluminum autoclavable, but completely disposable. And uh, I am gonna get in all the details that you wanna hear when this grip is gonna be available. And that's it. Then we're going to be hosting a live Q&A at the end of the show. So I hope this show is not going to be too, too long. So let me make sure that we're live and streaming healthy. Uh, guys, let me know if everything is great on your end. Just want to make sure that, uh, that you guys can hear me properly. All right. So um, the first thing that I want to state, I'm going to put all the machines aside. The first thing that I want to state, this is the very first, uh, we're going to switch. This is the very first cartridge grip, okay? Uh, there has been a little bit of confusion. Some people think that you can use this grip with uh, standard needles. And now this one is only designed for cartridges. And I'll show you right here that it only fits this guy's right here. So if you like to do cartridges, this is the grip. Um, that you're gonna be using if you really care about sterilizing. In fact, you should care about sterilization and safety. If not, you shouldn't be tattooing. So, uh, everything good, guys? Okay, thank you. So the first thing that I wanna mention is, I'll give you a little bit of uh, the, the shape of the grip, a little bit of the features, and we're gonna start talking about that. So I'm gonna move this one on the side. I'm actually gonna use this machine right here, the Spectra Direct to uh, Start this uh, review, overview, not review, overview actually. So here we have it. The first thing that we notice is that this shape is different than the first version. Remember, we made a grip that was completely fixed back in 2013, I believe it was, or 14, and that was called the RPG. So after the RPG, we had the RPG click. Okay, so the RPG click was similar shape as the very first grip that was fixed, but with this mechanism, and then we start exploring with different designs to actually get a much more comfortable uh, grip that's gonna suit a lot of artists, you know, uh, even females with smaller size and stuff like that. So uh, we came up with a script that it coincides, that was part of the research of the grip of the Spectra Science. So the science took way longer and we decided to migrate whatever we learned uh, from this project and put it here on this grip. So right now, as you guys can see, the geometry of the grip is a little bit different than the prior version. Now, what else we change on this grip? Okay, so some of the newer grips now, they have a very clear marking there. Uh, that tells you that if that line is in this direction, you're going to be able to pop the needle and the needle is gonna sit in the right position. So let me show you right here. See, once the grip is aligned properly, the needle uh, aligns also properly. Now, another thing that some people don't know it is, it actually works at a 180 degree. So if you do that 180 degree, also the needle is going to lock in the proper position. A lot of people think that it's only one position, but it actually, it's 180. You flip it 180 and then you're still gonna land in the right position. So uh, the grip comes available in different colors. So right now I have the tangerine version with a back stem, I'm sorry, with a grip, uh, the grip guy, we call this part, that is in black. All the grips have this part in black and one of the features that make this grip very, very unique is that it's the very first grip with traction or grooving here on the back stem. The back stem is actually stainless steel and is uh, embedded to the aluminum grip guide portion. So this doesn't come off the metal. It's actually pressure fit there and uh, becomes one part. So the traction is going to allow you for that grip to be clamped better with most tattoo machines, including coin machines. So when you're ratcheting the grip, you're not gonna be uh, you're not gonna be spinning the grip. So uh, we're gonna lock it right here and I'm gonna show you guys 
the functionality of this script. Let me line it properly. There you go. So you're gonna lock the vise and simply to adjust the throw or the needle depth, all you're gonna do is just spin this area. And as you can hear, it's clicky. It has a ratcheting system. Now, we have to actually design a ratcheting system that was going to compile a bunch of parts into one part. That was the challenge of the script. Now, if you're familiar with the script, the script has only four parts, and I am going to be showing you those parts right now. But the script is going to lock in place, and every time you turn it, you're actually so and you move and so on. So uh, it actually has pretty big travel. Okay, so you can actually extend it up to seven millimeter. Of course, it is pointless to go that hard, but the reason why you have that range is because some machines have different geometry. So just to compensate with larger or shorter machine, we have done that. We could have done it, you know, just with a couple of clicks and it would have been okay. But in order to accommodate to most tattoo machines, we had to do that. So that's that. So this is a brief uh, uh, overview of the physical uh, properties of this grip and mechanical. Now. What are some of the benefits about having a grip like this? Well, like I mentioned before, in the very first version, we made the fixed version, okay? The fixed version didn't even have the, 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 the pattern on the back stem. So sometimes, you know, if the machine wasn't designed properly or the vice wasn't designed properly, you could get a little bit of motion there when trying to uh, adjust uh, the needle depth. But it didn't matter because it wasn't clicky. So. The benefit of this is that now you don't have to touch the vise. You know, you don't have to loosen the vise and actually uh, retract or uh, move the, you know, slide the two back and forth to get that proper needle depth. So uh, we did not come up with that idea. Obviously, that idea was done. I mean, I, the the very first machine that had that thing were cosmetic tattoo machines back in the 80s, and then um, other companies that manufacture cartridges also came with a version, but. Um, we did our own version and we wanted to make it out of cleavable. So that was the goal there. So the benefit is that now you can properly sterilize that grip, okay? You can properly break, break it apart. You can properly bag it, put in your autoclave, or you can use cold sterilization product like Metacide, Cavacide that kill everything that's on the surface. So it uh, can be used with medical grade uh, cold sterilization products or uh, autoclaves. Just gotta make sure the autoclave is working right. What else? Now, um, another thing, people want to know about the weight about this machine, I mean, about this grip, and I'm going to do a little demonstration right now. Let me switch to uh, the weight's about 2.33 ounces. Now, the grip weights 2.33 ounces, the machine weights, this is a Spectra Direct, it weights 2.87. Very, very, very similar uh, weight. Now, you may say, okay, why do a one this uh, type of grip. Well, I mean, this grip, believe it or not, it actually allows you, and I did this demonstration in another video, it allows you to, to balance the machine. And as you see right now, the machine is swinging in my finger. So basically, I have the same amount of weight here than here. Therefore, when I'm tattooing, I feel like I'm not uh, being pulled from any of the sides. It becomes almost weightless. So in this case, the weight is actually assisting you to control and maneuver the machine. So that's that about weight. What else? Now, Let's talk about compatibility with other tattoo machines rotaries. Like I mentioned before, this is the Spectra Direct, but I have right here a Spectra Edge X. Uh, all of our machines right now have this vice system that we also introduced with this machine right here. The Spectra Edge X was the very, very first machine uh, with our patent pending floating college system. So if your machine has this type of system, you're going to be able to use it now. Don't panic. Let's say you have a Spectra Direct 1 where uh, in that machine we used a guillotine vice. It still works just as fine and one of the things that i want to show you guys is that a lot of people don't know that you can use this grip with coin machines with any type of coin machine so the back and machines if i have time and show you guys how you can use this machine for cartridges but right now i just wanted to talk about compatibility now what happened if you don't have a machine with this type of vice? What happened if you have a machine that has the thread vice, right? So if you have a machine that has the thread vice, this grip is going to work just fine. So we had made this little adapter right here that is very similar to this, and there is another floating collet in there. So this one is specifically designed for screw-on type machines. So let's pretend this is not one of our machines; it's one of those devices. Because there. Are 
a lot of machines now. That, and you, you're gonna put the uh, the adapter, the adapter like I mentioned, apart completely. So, there you go, guys. Sorry, so the video is a little bit choppy today. I think the internet connection is not too well uh, suited for this. But anyway, so how do you break it apart? Well, simply you're gonna keep on screwing like if you're actually ratcheting until the grip comes apart. Now, the thing that you're gonna realize is when uh, when you break when you break down the grip, you're gonna realize that you end up with a part on the machine, and then you end up with another part on the grip adjuster, the the orange part that I have right here. So. Uh, there is a reason why this happened this way, and I am going to show you guys. So, right here we have what we call the uh, the cartridge receiver. So you're gonna remove the cartridge receiver, and to remove it, you actually have to wiggle a little bit because it interlocks with this shoulder that you see right here. So there is a counter groove inside that actually allows this thing to uh, to lock in place and therefore not move when you're ratcheting. So. This part right here is made out of a composite mis material that is uh, medical grade. Same material as the ratcheting system. So the ratchet is called the ratchet disc. Also, we have a pad on this thing that uh, can be removed. And why we wanted to make this system uh, a one piece? Well, the reason why we want to make it one piece so you can properly sanitize the machine. You can properly replace it if you have to without having for you to part with your grip or send it for service. So there are very little. Little things about the script that can go wrong. So if the ratchet ever wears off or actually breaks, you can just replace the ratchet. This is the part that is uh, subject to uh, tear and wear, and this is the reason why you can actually replace it yourself. It's this simple. Pop it in there, clicks in place, and that's it. Now, um, once you break this down, you have two options. You have option number one, autoclave it. Of course, if you have an autoclave, you can autoclave everything. And to do so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract. Uh, the grip guide part, which is this one that I have right here, and the grip. And what you can do, you can actually do this. Remember, I extracted the cartridge receiver and the ratchet, and you have to do that. And you can actually uh, autoclave this two part. I recommend that you autoclave them like this in two independent pouches, or maybe one pouch, but two pouches is better. Um, and these two parts, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is a little bit messed up today. And these two parts can actually go in a bag together. Now, why do we have to break them down this way? Well, first of all, if we're gonna thoroughly scare or uh, the dry pin on the Ajax, make sure that you removed it because it's gonna be hard. And again, uh, you may think that something is wrong. It's actually the bar not allowing you to put things in place, align them properly. So this is what we're gonna do, and we just have actually put together the grip. So very easy to do it. Um, there is a lot of do. Uh, because I ensure that I sterilize them, you know, after every single tattoo, and I have a couple of grips always laying around, uh, sterile in bags. So I do that now. Uh, for you guys that are on the go, I would recommend you guys actually protect the grips somehow. And one of the reasons uh, why I have this thing right here is because this type of wrap, ha you know, has became so popular these days. And not only it allows you to add some sort of barrier, it's not a barrier against cross-contamination. Let, let me just make sure you guys understand that. But it's a barrier between the ink and the grip. So uh, you can actually use this. I remember, this one is called self-grip. It's the name of this, this one that I have right here. And then make them in different sizes. So this one is a little bit too big, but um, I'm gonna use them like this. I'm actually gonna double it up. And you can use this just to add a little bit more of bulk, or like I mentioned before, just to protect it uh, from the element. So I'm gonna do that, and ensure that when you're doing this, you leave the ratcheted part, I'm sorry, the, the, grip, uh, the grip guide part uncovered, because if not, you're not gonna be able to telescope. So let's just do this really quick. And there you go. I should have scissors there would have been easier. And there you go. So now you have the grip, uh, you know, nice bundle, um, you know, cushion, comfortable. And, and again, you could do it or you cannot do it. So want to show the option. If you do this, you know, to take it out, it's very, very easy. A lot of people put a clip or sleeve and then put a phone grip. That's also good. You can do that if you like to do that. But remember, after every tattoo, you must sterilize the script. So 
that is uh, the trait of this grip. Is you know you have to do it. Do not ever you know use this grip without sterilization. That is not cool. Probably uh, that's not going to happen because this information is directed to professional tattoo artists. So that's that. Now let's talk about what else talked about a little bit about prepping I mean, and there are so many ways to prep some people I've seen people like put up uh, paper towels and then tape or uh, masking tape and stuff like that do whatever you want but remember whatever uh, type of uh, barrier you apply on this grip is not supposed to replace sterilization remember that it's not supposed to replace sterilization another thing that I forgot to mention before is when cleaning the grip you know prior sterilization uh, make sure to get inside the cartridge receiving port this little black a lot of a lot of the times you're gonna get ink residue in there from just handling the cartridge. So ensure to go with a Q-tip or or um, you know toothpick or something and clean it with either either um, alcohol or uh, Metasai. Um But again, if you are the cleaning with alcohol is not just to uh, uh, as a form of sterilization. It's just a, you know just to remove the ink. You have to remove the ink. You don't want the ink to sit there. You do have to properly sterilize the grip. So that's that. Man, my voice is a little bit messed up today. Whew. Anyway, so talked about disassembling the grip. Now, how do I auto clay the grip? It's very easy. Uh, follow regular cycle for any grip that you would have sterilized, like stainless steel or body jewelry. Just same cycle for that. It's going to be good for that. And um, <clears throat> that's that. Now, if the ratchet breaks, because the ratchet may break, why would the ratchet break? Well, if the, there are different reasons why the ratchet may break if the ratchet is not clicked all the way down it could break another thing that i recommend is that you guys try to like put some sort of uh, lubrication you can even use ointment over the ratchet that's gonna uh ensure that the ratchet you know clicks with not a lot of friction so that's one way to make sure that your ratchet is going to stay healthy you know for as long as possible and um the other thing is that you know when you're assembling the parts together ensure that you go slow without cross threading i mean it's really hard to cross thread i think i've seen probably one or two in my life that people have cross threaded but um, you know you got to be careful and read the instructions that come with the grip very easy to use very flexible you know tons of applications that you can use the grip on uh tons i'm sorry tons of machines that you can use it for and um that's it now we have it in all the colors, the seven colors, and we also make some special edition colors. I think right now we have the Urban Camo version. It's our special edition, and you can get the match in Urban Camo machine. So it comes in the tangerine and the bubble gum and the black, the gum metal, uh, kryptonite, sea foam, and the ruby. So those are the color plus. Now also we have the blue, which is really nice, the, the deep blue. So So you can find it at fkirons.com. You can find it throughout all the distributors worldwide. Now, let me talk about these two guys that I have right here. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. So we're pretty good. We're doing good. So this is a new clicker ego disposable. Now, this grip is very similar in shape as the click uh, ergo autoclavable. So the difference is that this one you're going to be able to dispose them after every single tattoo. Not only that, this one has the squishy uh, feel, okay? So this is like the squishy silicone uh, that you can find in this version, for example. Same material, same squishiness. Now, the beauty about these grips is that every box is going to bring 24, and you're going to get the seven colors that we make mixed in the box. So you're going to get mixed color, the mixed seven colors in the box, random randomized colors I think it's almost three of each uh, inside the box so I mean I thought that was fun you're gonna get the red you're gonna get the green up and let me just put a pause really quick fix this okay so uh, who do we have here so we have Naomi world said Will the click disposable replace the original Ergo disposable? Also notice the original Ergo disposable are not on the side. How can I order more? Okay, so the new click Ergo disposable, it is not going to replace the, the, the RPG disposable. We still have a bunch of them. We recently got another shipment. So we're going we're gonna to continue selling those. 
Uh, there's going to be a version that's going to replace that particular non-ingestible version, but not yet. Uh, what else? Now, the old click, uh, the, the old RPG click uh, is basically out of stock unless, you know, you can find them through a distributor. We're, we don't make that one anymore. This one replaces um, the click ergo out of clayable. So that's that. Uh, Terry, Li uh, Terry Lively say, love my ejects and ergo grips, perfect balance. I'm, I'm a female with small hands and I don't feel any weight at all. Thank you, um, Terry, for the feedback. Okay, so Robert Wade got two halos this week. Thank you so much for your business, guy. Uh, and again, yes, I know the, the interns being a pain in the ass. I don't know why. Why does that sometimes? There you go. Okay, so someone uses the plastic wrap under sensor wrap as a barrier on my grip. And yeah, like I mentioned before, a lot of people use the clip core bags or, or saran wrap too. You know, I used to use saran wrap. I remember the one for packing boxes, which is this thick. That one you can stretch and actually cover the grip really, really, really nice. But again, remember, um, the barrier is just for the ink not to stick directly to the material. Uh, but you have to sterilize the grip after every single tattoo. Uh, so Robert would say, Gaston, can you please go over using the original Halo with cartridge grips? Yes, I can do that. Um, I don't have a Halo, the original one, but I'm actually going to use this one that I have right now. Fair enough. Very similar. So with the Halo 1, okay, in order for you to use the, um, the grip, what you have to do is you have to remove the stay-up spring. So you got to ensure that you remove the stay-up spring by simply, let me switch camera, so... Removing the, the game not completely, the slider, and at the front, there's a stay-up spring. So uh, that's for the Halo 1, not for this machine. This machine can run cartridges without doing anything. So that's just how you do it. Very, very simple. Then you put all the parts together, and that's it. I think that there is a no video on YouTube, actually, that I did it maybe, I don't know, maybe five years ago about that. So you can probably still go uh, a couple of, I mean, a couple of, a couple of tens of videos behind and watch it. So... Uh, you're going to be able to use it with a Halo 1, no problem, as well as the disposal. So, guys, this is it. I don't want to make this video too long. My voice cannot take it anymore. So, I am going to be giving you more updates uh, in the upcoming weeks. We're going to talk more about the Scion or full production. Some of you that have seen some of the videos that I posted today, I'm working even weekends and uh, Saturday, Sunday, and weekdays. So, this is happening. We're going to be at the London show. I am going to be... Uh, given a free seminar at the Barcelona Tattoo Show. So the Barcelona, the 20th anniversary is the Barcelona Show. I am going to be there with a crew from Wildcat Tattoo Supply there, Spain. Uh, free, free rotary uh, tutorial. I'm going to be talking about introduction to coin machines, of course. I'm going to be talking about all, about all the rotaries, all the type of rotaries, slide, swash, uh, direct drives. We're going to be talking about pens, introduction to the new trend of pens, and uh, a lot of information. So, uh, guys, thank you so much. I wish I could stay going, but I can. My voice is not going any further. So, uh, that's it, guys. I'll see you in another episode very soon. Thank you. Have a great night.